Hey guys, my name is Piotr and today I'll show you in a few minutes how you can create a very simple and a very cool VR tour. Okay, so as you can see I'm on the viewer.co and I'm already logged in. Now the only thing that I have to do is click new. Now the system is asking me if I want to create a tour or a project. Let's stick to the tour right now. Let's call it VR demo just like it was suggested to me. Okay, so I'm now clicking create. And as you can see I'm in our cool brand new tool that we call Warp Editor. So Warp Editor is the is the main tool that will allow you to create VR tours. So here you have some information which are actually telling you what kind of images do we support. So you see that it's mono and stereo, spherical images and also cube maps, cube strips. And yeah, let's start creating a tour. Okay, so what I will do right now is I'll use the Add Panel button to add my 360 panoramas. Uh, now I'm selecting on my computer three panoramas. I've added those panoramas. As you can see, they are being uploaded. Okie dokie, so the last one is almost done. There we go. Now, before I forget, I will also add a thumbnail. So I will define uh, actually how, how the thumbnail will look like. And if you would not do it, then the system would generate a thumbnail for you, like a, like a default one from, from the first panorama. Okay, so as you can see on this list, I actually have three 360 panoramas. I've selected the first one right now, and now I would like to define a, a warp point, like we call it, which is actually a hotspot that will allow me to travel from one image to another. So I'm doing it right now. And I also have a third image, and I would actually also have the possibility to travel to the third image. So as you can see, this is just a name. It can be blank as well, and the important part is the destination panel. So this is actually telling the system where I should go. Okay, so the first one is done. Now I'll switch to shot number two. And in the shot number two, I would like to be able to go back. I think shot number one was taken more or less in this position, this location. Okay, done. And I also would like to have the possibility to go to shot number three. Beautiful, okay. Last image, I'm going to shot number three. And it's loading. Fantastic. So if I want to go back to image number two, I'll go from this position. There we go. And if I want to go back to image number one, I'll do it from here. Beautiful. I also have a very cool possibility to add uh, something that we like to call a floor plan. And you can see on the left hand side in the menu, I have a special button for it, which is called add a floor plan. So I'm clicking it, now I'll select my image. This is a simple JPEG with, with a floor plan, nothing fancy. Okay, so you see based on this icon that my floor plan has been added, I can click on it and I will see a floor plan. Now, on your floor plan, you can add warp spots exactly the same way like you're adding them on Panorama. So let's say this is my room number one, I'm double clicking here, applying the spot. This is room number two. Boom, I'm selecting where I should travel, and let's say this will be room number three. And there we go, that's it, as simple as that. Okay, I'm done with my panorama, and this is less than five minutes, as promised. So you see, this is my, uh, this is my tour, the, the demo that I've just created, it's called VR Demo, and you can see the very nice thumbnail. And I can simply click on it and I can enjoy the tour in my browser. I can activate the floor plan. As you can see, it's taking me to image number three. I can use my spots like I did. And of course, you can always uh, download one of our native applications on your Android device or iOS device for GDVR. And as soon as you will log in, you'll be able to see exactly the same tour on your device. And that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching. And if you have any comments, uh, if you have any feedback, just leave a comment under the video or go to the viewer.co and use the, this little chat, which is actually the best way of getting in touch with us. Okay, once again, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.